Hello there guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to be building and painting the uh, Great Beast of Gorgoroth. I've been interested in this model for quite a while. I've always wanted one since I got my Mimic because my Mimic is absolutely amazing. Uh, painted by my wife as well. And yeah, really wanted another beast to be able to field with a different army. Not a lot more I can say about it. Um, it works a little differently to the Mimic. Obviously the Mimic has crew that can be killed. From what I understand, the crew in The Great Beast just count as the model, they can't be killed. Um, I've got to read the rules properly on it, but they can't dismount either, so it's just one model, which is fabulous. Also counts as its own little warband, I think, so that's sort of cool. Um, yeah, absolutely looking forward to building and painting it. Let's get into it. Right then, so I have unpacked everything. I will need to double check if I need to wash the resin. Although I don't think I need to with um, with fine cast, I think it's just with uh, forge world resin. I think they've pretty much cleaned off the resin for this one. But yeah, so I'm gonna double check that and then I'm going to start cutting these up and I'll come back once all the little bits are taken off. I've got to clean that one off, clean that off, I've got to take all these off. So I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, so everything is, is taken apart and like that. There we go. So I have noticed that there are a few mold holes across most uh, some of the models, but most of them should be covered by paint, so it should be fine. Uh, the most annoying one being right there on the back end of this thing. Right there, you see that? I've got to decide whether I fill that first or attempt to paint over it. I could probably get away with painting over it. Uh, there was also a great big can probably see it there, a uh, mould line going right down the beast. I've filed it as best I can, um, it was most prevalent there, but I just can't get in on that on the leg, so paint should cover most of that, it's just that bit I wanted to get, get filed down. But yeah, so next job will be gluing the beast together, and then it will be undercoating and painting. I'll come back once I've glued the beast together. There we go guys, so that is put together, um, obviously I haven't glued that onto the pseudo here yet, um, it's a little wonky as you can see so I might steam it and strain it up quite a bit before I put it on, hemp sided yet, yeah see, that is wonky, so I will ask the group get some suggestions, um, otherwise I mean at the very least I can get all this sprayed down now. Um, with this, make sure that you're gluing the right bits because this shield, no wait, it's not shield, no it's this shield. So this shield um, has to be on this side. You try and glue it to this side, uh, the two shields try and overlap and they can't do that. So you see what I mean? They both go over the edge. So yeah, make sure you are gluing the right sides to the right sides because when I glued them together I didn't. But otherwise I'll probably have decided where I'm going to get some green stuff in a little bit or leave them to show the shoddy work of the orcs. But otherwise that looks really nice. And then all it was was two legs stuck onto the great beast. Uh, this big one here and this little one here. And he stands up really nicely now. That sits on him really nicely. Boom. So I'm going to get those all sprayed and I'll get back to you guys in a minute. Right then, so as you can see it is all done. I can't remember which side is forward and which side back now. Actually no I do. So that is the front. So that's the front, that's the back. A few bits that were missed by the spray which is fine because I can either go back with them with my actual black or just go with it. I mean, for the most part, it's not going to be seen, so I'm not, not going to be as seen as the rest of the beast. I love that he's got some quibbles on him. So, I'm not going to attach that yet. I'm actually going to take that off, put that to the side. Not focus on that right now. So what I'm going to do is focus on the big guy himself. And to start with, I'm going to get the base layer on his skin done. So, for that, I'm going to use Mechanicum Standardist. Uh, Mechanicus Standard Grey. Uh, I'm going to paint that all over the beast. Uh, I've got one of my bigger brushes out for that. It was slightly bigger than my normal one. And I'm going to apply that all over his skin. And then I'll come back once that's done. Right then, so now that I've applied all of that, I am going to uh, apply horn and the toes on the feet. Or for lack of a better word, toes anyway. Hoops probably is a better word. Um, you shanty bone on them, so I'm going to Throw that all over the base of them, and then we'll come back afterwards. Right then, so I've done the horn, I've also done the toes. Um, I'm getting ready to wash the beast, but I've also picked up that obviously these chains need doing. 
these quivers need doing so I can do them and make them look a little dirty as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint all the metal parts with lead voucher. I'm going to paint the tops of the quivers, or tops of the bow, sorry, with ceramite white. And then any parts that are like wooden or could be wood, I'm going to paint with one foam brown. So it shouldn't be much, it should mostly just be a, the bows, maybe the quivers, depending on how I feel. Yeah, I'll get those painted and I'll come back afterwards. Right, so I've got the silver all over the chains. Um, I even decor. I did do them. I'll get it a little closer. There we go. I did do them as though they were like I want to say wooden, but not so much wooden. Because one could be wooden, but they're wrapped. Yeah, I've done them like that. Um, I might change my mind and go over with like dried bark or. Um, Rhinoxide, a layer of paint. I'll decide that later. But otherwise, yep, done that. So next, now that everything apart from the bottom of the foot has been covered, is literally washing the model. I just need to wash the model now. So I'm going to wash the model with with Agrax Earthshade. So I'm going to throw that all over the model. Not literally throw it. Although it's a big bottle, so I'm tempted to just drip it all over and spread it around with a brush. I probably won't do that. But yeah. So I'm going to paint the model with the Agrax half shade and then we'll come back once we're done with that. Right then guys, so now that that has dried, I'm now going to dry brush the skin with Administrate and Grow. Um, I'm going to go for a light dry brush along the creases so that it just highlights the wrinkles in the model. That's my aim anyway. And I'll come back once I've done that. Okay, so he is mostly done. I've got a few bits to do in the mouth, but in the meantime, I figured I'd move on to this. So we've got the, for lack of a better word, the harness that goes on him. Obviously, right, this is gonna be quite fun because I love it. Like this bit here is wooden, um, and I would assume like this bit's wooden as well. I don't think. Can I get you closer on that? Like, you know, almost. And it looks like there's cloth inside, which is fine. I've got a red for that. Um, and then these bits outside look like rusted metal. So, yeah. I mean, it's black. You can't really see it right now. But, yeah. So, we are. Probably get the wooden bits done first. Get the cloth inside bits done. And then work on the metal. And then do all the extras. That's going to be fun. So, going to go to my go-to wood, which is normally Mornfang, but Mornfang I use more for good. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with Mornfang. I'm going to go with Mornfang. So, where's my Mornfang? There we go. So, I'm going to go with my Mornfang for the wood, and I'll be back once I've done the wood. Alright then, so you probably can't completely see that, but I have done uh, the wooden bits here, the wooden bit, base bits there. Um, I'll do the... I'll do the bow holsters once, uh, or the quivers, once I've done everything else, so I want to do those last. Otherwise, next job is going to be these rope bits going around it. So I'm going to get some lovely, lovely rhinoxide, and I'm going to paint that over the rope bits, and come back once that's done. Right then, so now that that is done, uh, it's hard to tell again, because it's quite dark on this, but... I've painted those with rhinoxide. Now I'm going to switch gears and start on the metal bits. Brighten it up a bit. <laughs> I say brighten up, I'm using one of the darker uh, metal, uh, metal colours there is, but I'm using lead belcher. So I'm going to pop that all over the metal bits, including the rims of the shields, and we'll come back once I've done that. Right then, so with all that dried, next is going to be the clothy bits, and for that, I'm going to be using corn red. I'm going to paint those on the inside, and then... I'll come back once that's done. Right then, so now that I've done that part, next thing I'm going to do, pretty much the final thing, um, is I've got to do the little skulls down here. So you obviously can't see that because it's the reason why it's not going to focus on it. Even if it's the only thing here, it would not focus on it. Oh, 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 there was a brief second where it focused. Uh, but there are two skulls there attached to the beast with rope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go paint the rope with some Steel Legion wrap. I'm then going to paint the skulls once that's dry with some Yushanti bone. So I will come back after that and then going to go over the tips of the arrows on the inside, some ceramite white, and then I'm going to tidy up all the rest of it and we'll go from there. Come back once I've done that. Yeah. Alright then guys, so we are back and as you can see, I've done the bits that I needed to, very small. I also topped up a bit of brown in here because I'd missed it on the first pass. I popped some grey 
onto the stones on the shields that I have it, just because that's what I imagine it is. I imagine it's stone glued to a backing of like metal or something, or beaten into a shield. I missed that one, so I'll have to go back and get that one. But otherwise, once I've done that one and it's dry, I'm gonna wash the entire thing with Agrax. Yeah, I'll wash the entire thing in Agrax. What I might do while I'm waiting between things, so like I'll probably do the shield, leave that to dry quickly. I'm then going to, I wanna do something awesome for the base. I don't know what yet. I might leave the base for now. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the base for now. Um, Cause worst case now I can glue into the base without painting and, or I can just blue tack into the base. Um, then if I need to take it to an event, I can literally just pop it straight onto, well I can just pop the base, pop something straight on the base, pop paint on it. But I feel like I want to do something epic for this, maybe put a few rocks around it, um, maybe even just like make sure he's in the middle, have like a path he walks down, and have a bit of rocky outcroppings on the sides. Make it look sort of cool, because this, this is a beastie beastie boy. But yeah, so I'm gonna get a shot of that and then we'll come back once I've done that. So there we have it guys, this is the finished model. As you can see I've got all the Agrax Earth shade around the air, around the outside. I did it inside as well, it looks exactly the same. Looks beautiful. I'm absolutely loving this miniature. I'm gonna save the base and do the base another time because I really want to do something fun for it. I'm leaning towards the idea of walking down a path, put a few rocks either side, or like a hedge maybe. Yeah, I really wanna do something really fun for this one. So I'm gonna seek ideas and come back to it. I haven't glued any of the models down yet because I don't know, I haven't decided if I'm gonna magnetize them all for the purposes of transport or if I just glue everything down and hope to God nothing falls out. But yeah, so we will come back in post. So there you have it guys, here's the uh, finished model. Absolutely loving how it turned out. It was a treat to paint, it wasn't actually that. It, I thought it'd be a little more difficult than it was. Um, mostly around like how all the different bits would be painted, but once I got an idea in my head of what I wanted to do with it, it was good and it, it looks amazing. I'm absolutely thrilled with how it came out. Definitely going to be using it on table as soon as I can. Going to try and build a nice little Barador army around it. Maybe a ring wraith. Uh, a few mounted models. I've got some Morgul knights that I'll be painting at some point. Building and painting. So check out for those. Wait, uh, check out for those on the channel. But yeah, I feel that I could have a nice little rushy force. But if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, share. Um, all the usual things and pop down in the comment section below what you want to see painted next. There was a whole idea before Christmas of a few things that I've got. Um, I'm going to be working through them one unit at a time. Uh, but obviously, if I've got 20, if I've got 20 people screaming out, oh, I want to see this painted uh, first, because obviously you're thinking of getting it, you want to see how it goes. Throw it down there. I'll pop it in the. I'll pop it at the head of the queue. Uh, but otherwise. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.